Okay, this is just a quick demo for the typography assignment. The goal is to use a variety of sources if you can. So start digging through your pantry and, you know, closets. And if you have magazines, great. But if you don't, I still want everyone to have accessibility. So literally looking through your pantry will be kind of a big one. So I've got, you know, a box of oatmeal here. Uh, maybe you guys like soda. Um, start saving things like pasta boxes, maybe you're liking microwave popcorn. Um, I happen to drink an abnormal amount of LaCroix every week, so I always have lots of those, although I actually didn't find that many letters that I needed on that. And then I happen to have some Swiffer dusters, so that was the star of the show for my ransom note. So the goal after you have watched the typography video and you have taken the quiz about typography and kind of learned the terminology, we are going to now be applying that. So for example, things like kerning means bringing the letters together, um, you know, stretching them apart can of course um, make or break re readability. So my um, statement, and I have a photo of this in Canvas, is bring me the peanut butter or the Swiffer is mine. So the goal is that you're either holding something for ransom and it can be for like amount of an amount of money. It's obviously meant to be a joke. It's totally nonsensical. So that's the fun part. You're gonna be able to, you know, hold at ransom something in your pantry or around your house, you know, just kind of play around with it. Um, you're gonna to wanna to consider scale. So I wouldn't just result in the very first letter that you find. It's a little bit more whimsical and ransom note like if you have, you know, a variety of different sizes, colors. And so just kind of play around with it. So your goal is to, of course, hold something at ransom and then spread it all out. Now, after you've snipped everything, if you have glue, great. If you do not, you could certainly just photograph it by holding your phone over the top so that you capture what it says. Make sure to proof it, make sure it's actually, you know, readable, that, that I can tell what it says. Um, so certainly, you know, work on your positioning, uh, being up and over it. Um, making sure your shadow is not cast on top of it because sometimes that can, um, you know, make or break it too. So um, again, um, let me turn my camera a little so you can all see better. Um, the goal then is to glue it down so you can hold it together and you've always got your silly little ransom notes. So just a sheet of copier paper, or whatever paper you have laying around is kind of key. Now, I would love to just scooch this, but I really don't think that's gonna work. So what you'll end up doing is gluing these in place or you can place them on top of the white to take a photo, okay? Um, I would suggest not leaving it on like a countertop or like here I have a cutting mat at home because it, it distracts a little from what it says. Um, you really want people to focus on the typography, on the, on the letter forms, and this week's exercise to create um, a nonsensical ransom note focuses on letter forms. So hopefully the goal is that you'll be looking at different styles, whether they be a serif or sans serif, that you will, um, of course, explore placement, um, how you know the style of a letter can completely change things. I have no problem with you cutting out a few words here and there, but you definitely want this kind of broken look is the goal. So if you do have something like this, that's okay. Um, but I would not have your entire message be chunks of words. But like, for example, I have butter rather than spelling out butter. I could keep digging and searching. So I encourage your, your ransom note to reflect that you spent some time on it. If you are missing a letter that you just can't seem to scrounge up, you could certainly make it yourself on paper. I would, of course, add color, you know, if, if applicable, or if you think it's gonna look better, red or pink or something like that. So good luck creating your letter. Again, you're just gonna snip everything. I just used solely things I found in my pantry, um, you know, that I would have otherwise recycled, as well as, you know, I happen to have, have Swiffer duster. So I thought, well, that would kind of be hilarious to hold a Swiffer um, for ransom. So anyway, you can decide what your message is, but the goal is that you, you have like two things, right? You're holding something at stake. Um, 
you know, the, the Swiffer. You're never going to see the Swiffer unless you bring me that peanut butter. So again, it should be silly. It should be nonsensical. And most of all, have fun.